hi guys good afternoon welcome back to my channel so it's been quite some time i've been away but guys guess what i'm back <laughs> and i'm ready to give you guys the best you know the best the educative and the entertaining gist so in today's video i will be talking about a question that i've been asked frequently by scholars who are looking to move to germany and the question has been, how do I get a job as soon as I land in Germany? So guys, I wish someone had told me, you know, how to go about this because I felt like I moved to Germany, like, you know, I just picked up my bag and left, honestly. <laughs> so you need to do a bit of research, but in this video, I'm just gonna give you like the fastest, quickest means that you can get a job when you learned in germany so the first step would be designing your cv in a way that is suitable or in a way that suits the german you know style of you know of cv creation and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna uh, put a link just below my video not necessarily in the video but rather just on the comment session and i'm gonna share with you um a link that you could use to have a look of uh, to have a look as how the CVs or the CVs in Germany looks like yeah so when you're done this CV I would really advise you to have the CVs in two um, in two um, languages so in English and as well as in German and um, if you do not know how to tr how to translate the CV in German what I do or what I did is I just use Google Translate to like, you know, select the, 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 the headings and just translate them and then put them back on the CV. And what you could do is um, when you meet a German speaking person, you could just give them uh, the CV and ask them to have a review of the CV and see what is, you know, what is wrong, you know, something that the Google translated wrong. And they could also rectify that for you and make the CV look more presentable in terms of language yeah in terms of German language so that's by the way so I'm just gonna give you four very important um, apps that you can use um, immediately you learn in land into Germany like I've advised in my previous video it's great that you have a, at least a, a knowledge of German language which is really gonna you know help you when you get here to Germany at least to the A22 level and if you could do it well you know just just do it to at least B1 or B2 level and that would be really, like be very helpful so guys um, I just have this paper with me and basically it's just I'm just gonna show it to you so I hope it's in the right um, <laughs> so Basically, the first advice or the first tip I will be giving is to join a WhatsApp group. So um, I'm from Nigeria, as, as you guys know, and um, usually we set up a WhatsApp group for people who are in Germany, especially if you're in a particular state. For instance, if you're in Berlin, um, we have a Berlin German group. So let's put it that way. Um, if you're in Bremen, we also have a, a Bremen Scholars German group. So something like this. The thing is, if you do not know a lot of Nigerian students, I would advise you to go on Nyerland. I'm going to put the link again. On Nyerland, we have a, a, a particular group. Let's put it a group of um, German seeking scholars, you know, something like German seeking students, you know, or Nigerian student going to Germany. And in this group, you will find people who are also go into different states in Germany that you can connect with. So just kind of like go there and tell them that you'll come and move into Germany to study and just, you know, put your contact number, something like that. And try to get in touch with people who are also going to that particular state in Germany. And through that you probably find a whatsapp group so this is just like a tip it's not necessarily like you would um it's 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 mandatory it's not so joining the whatsapp group will just give you like it will give you an opportunity to connect to people already in the in the town or in the state where you're going to be studying and then you could you know ask questions and then you could even connect with them and sometimes they post a lot of jobs in this group so that's the 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 main tip you know they post a lot of jobs in this particular groups and through this you could be lucky to get a job so aside that the second um tip i'll be giving you which is a very important one is indeed so indeed.de is like a very great app where you could just 
basically apply for jobs at the you know at the tip of your finger with your phone you just you know basically send your cv wherever even if you're on the road and on the tram or wherever you just click and find immediately the job is posted you send your cv and it goes straight and they give you a call so indeed it's like the top 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 um, app that you could use to easily find a job and the second one is job mensa uh, slash student temp, study temps. So the good thing about uh, study temps, so it means like study temps, which is like study um, student temporary jobs, something like this. So they're very reliable in the sense that they um, they find jobs for student that's usually temporary. And the good thing about them, you could also see when you go to their app or where you go to their website, whenever they post a job, they will um, probably put a the relevance of the language needed for that job so if um, the job requires you to speak in only English you would say English only and if it requires you to speak German you would say only uh, only German and otherwise it could say yeah German is important or German is not important for that kind of job and so um, study temps is the same as job mensa I'll just put it there study temp and job mensa um, they are kind of the same um, app because um, um, when you apply from study temp, it takes you directly to job mensa and then you know you, wherever you want to apply from and then the the third um, the third tip is the university board so the university where you'll be attending you know lots of times they post they have a board somewhere in the hall um, they post a lot of like uh, student jobs and then you could apply directly from there You could just go there because it's usually they update it all the time. They take it off probably every week um, But basically most of the jobs you find in university it boards are you know in German So you have to translate it or you have to find a way to just you know Pick up the email or the phone number and give them a call and see if that if you are you stand a chance with regards to you know having not a lot of German skills but you know I always advise people moving to Germany to learn as much German as you can because it's going to be beneficial to you so um, the last one and also very important one is the state employment agency called the Agento Arbeit or the Arbeit Agento. So this is very important because honestly, if someone had told me when I moved here, I would really save myself a lot of stress, guys. No one told me that I could even register with these people and they could help you find a job like this, you know, fast in two weeks, probably, you know, less than that. So guys, um, don't forget this. It's very, very important. It's so important when you cannot find a job by, by yourself through Indeed, through study terms, which I'm sure you would, um, through the university board, if they are not so much, um, the best um, and the last tip will be to go to the state employment agency, which is called the Abite Agent Tour. So usually what you do is, as long as you've registered and you've got your place of, um, you've got your apartment and you all like get everything, your bank accounts is very important. Um, when you get your registration for um, your PO box, which is very important because they, the, the agentor, the Abite agentor would really need this PO box to send you um, some, you know, feedbacks or documentation or things like this. When you're done with all this, when you have your bank account, when you have your um, uh, um, location registration, you just take all and you go to the uh, Abite agentor and then you register with them and they would ask you you know what kind of jobs you would like you know how long are you going to be available within the week if it's just for 20 hours which is usually advised for students you just um tell them like i have to work for three or four days and or two days or you know you know whatever how long you could fit in your 20 hours you could also work for less and um they would they would give you up they would send you options for jobs by uh through your email or probably through the post and then you receive this and then you can respond or you probably can just go there directly and tell them you know what i got this email about this job and i'm interested in it and you could just you know they will start the process of you know getting you the job so guys i hope this tip was very helpful i try to make this video as short as possible i try not to give a lot of like you know here and there you know apps and websites and that that nah. like i said the most important thing is just to find the right ones that is going to set you on the right part so to find the right websites 
that it's effective and guys that's what I have done here because I have gone through um, through a lot myself trying to find a, a student job when I moved here and I would have saved myself a lot of stress and you know headache if I had you know like had this like really effective apps and tips so guys i hope i'm able to help you i hope i'm able to ease your moving to germany and starting a job as a student and guys feel free please feel free to always message me uh, via my instagram i will always respond as fast as i can with my instagram because you know i have my mobile with me <laughs> always <laughs> so guys i would love you and leave you and i wish you all a wonderful day till next time bye